Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the next episode of the RV Logs. Um, I am Arthur Isom. I think I forgot to, min to mention my name <laughs> before. And we have two more guests here with us. These are some really dope people as well. Please introduce yourselves. What's going on, Arthel? Thank you for having me. Uh, I go by Keats on the internet. My name, whole govy is Kevin Jackman. Uh, but yeah, Keats or Keats did it. Keats did it. It's your boy, uh, Anime Sundays. Anime X Sundays on all platforms. Jared Ross is government as well, man. I'm just happy to be here, man. We're in Japan. Though. For sure, we are in Japan. Yeah, yeah. On the other side of the world. On yes. the other side of the world, we have mm -hmm. Keats did it. And we have Anime Sundays mm -hmm. in Japan, mm -hmm. which is pretty crazy. For trap sushi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trap we're here sushi. for trap sushi. Mm -hmm. So, so as we're chatting here, mm -hmm. should I go by your government name? Yeah, you know, man. Government. You know us, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kids, oh, you know, whatever. It's, yeah, chilling. Like, all right. So, so yeah. So we guys. So tell me first of why. Why are you guys in Japan? Like, what? Mm -hmm. How did you get here? Like, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, how did we get here, man? <laughs> all right. So. Trap Sushi is family, you know, mm -hmm. out in the A, you know, we, we hang out, we party all the time. And, mm -hmm. you know, you get to a point like, you know, when you're when your family and, you know, you know, the big bro troop comes to you and say, yo, we want to do this, man. You're like, all right, let's get it. Yeah, we yeah. So we all, we all individually, we have our, we're like Avengers. So we have our own, you know, bags and our own right talents there. and our own ways to mm -hmm. move around. Like I just came from Rolling Loud. Mm -hmm. I just did a thing with Nike and, mm -hmm. you know, that funded this to be able to come here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, uh, you know, I bought the tickets, you know, and we're on the group chat and we communicate, yeah. you know, we can yeah. be connected more now than ever. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, just, we just bought the tickets, man. It came out, you know, stuff helped with the That's organization. That's energy too, man. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Group of stuff like, yo, we want to go to Japan and do something. Like, most people would just be like, what? Japan? Yeah. What are you talking about? Japan, yeah. that's so far away. Yeah. But y'all are like, no, yeah, we got, like, we got this. Yeah. Let, let's, let's do this. We're going to yeah. go mm -hmm. out there. We're going to make it work. Yeah. We've, I was, mm -hmm. Oh, no, I was just going to say, I mean, you know, I, I wasn't letting them go without me. You know, I, yeah. I, I am the host of Trap Sushi. So every time there's a Trap Sushi, I, I try to make sure I'm there mm -hmm. at all times. Uh, so. I always want to go to Japan. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going, I'm going. So that's I'm going to be there. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. letting no other host yeah. grab the mic. I'm like, nah, <laughs> it's, a, it's not like I, I, I try to make sure that like we stay, you know, solid and we, and we keep keep the fire rolling. Like what we have is, is hot fire. So you yeah. got to keep it bright. And know? it's also my second time here. So like I felt like I, I if I was here, I could have stuff to contribute, you know, mm -hmm. tell people to like just don't even do this. Don't even bother. Mm -hmm. You know, Otter Cafe, joint mad. Crazy, yeah, you came you, know. you came out here. You shot like a music video. Out here. Yeah, yeah, we did a uh, black people in Tokyo. Yeah, black people in Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo sense, and sense there's even it. more black people yeah. in Tokyo you, right YouTube now. YouTube friendly, black people in Tokyo. <laughs> you, you know what to type. Yeah, yeah, that's a dope video too. Thank you. So, so okay, we're gonna rewind it back a little bit. So, for all of our fans who, who don't know, which I think everybody probably knows who you are, but let's but just tell us about yourself. Mm -hmm. So, let's start first with it. So, I'm gonna keep it real brief. Uh, grew up in New York, uh, and then I discovered that I wanted to be a marketing entity and you know, yeah. rap. It started as rap and music. So, mm -hmm. I built all the skills of Photoshop, AI, yeah. uh, you know, logic, making beats, and I became kind of a triple threat in the creating space for videos. Yeah. And then I got TikTok, and I start. I discovered I could act. I went crazy during the pandemic, dropped a whole bunch of skits, videos, meetings that, you know, yeah. uh, made real moves. I gained about two million followers in less than two years, a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And then after I hit two That's million, crazy. I was like, you know, let me go on these other platforms. I was kind of just done building, like yeah. the difference between two to five million, not much. So I went to Instagram, Twitter, yeah. uh, Twitch. I learned to scream, stream, and that was kind of yeah. like an arc in itself. Like yeah. Twitch is just an amazing platform. Yeah. Uh, you know, got into gaming, made those connections in this world, and trapped sushi, mm -hmm. started hosting HBCU Esports League. Started working with Rolling Loud, started working yeah. with brands like Nike, and you know, boom, we're here. You know, success, do everything, like. Yeah. Man, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's like, that's a crazy story, though. Like, it just seems like you just woke up and was like, I'm gonna get like five million followers and just be <laughs> famous. I, I get bored. <laughs> I, it takes a lot to entertain me after a while. And once you get used to things, you know, my craving for higher production never stops. That's the mm -hmm. endless ceiling, craving for higher production. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so tell me like, I don't know, like how, how would you define like Keats did it like and when people like kind of tune in to your channel like what should they so expect? Keats was a nickname I got in high school from my English teacher it comes from a romantic poet some 16th century named John Keats I was being a fool in class nickname nickname became Keats okay. years later when I was discovering I wanted to rap I'm like what's the name because Kevin ain't gonna fly there's already Kyle 
So mm -hmm. I was like, I was going through a big like birth. I was cleaning my room back in New York mm -hmm. and like it said, happy birthday Keats and my English teacher wrote it. So I just, I was Keats the geek because there was already a band named Keats. Yeah. So I was starting building my following, doing showcases, Florida and everything, moved to Atlanta, Keats the geek, Keats the yeah. geek. And something fell down, you know, we hit a stump, you know, learned some lessons and then by that time, I had already built the platform, so I was bigger than that band Keats. You yeah. know, I was in like, making. Like, you just so now I just kind of I'm like, yeah, their this, presence. Yeah, I'm, I'm popping enough now. Yeah. And some it's weird because sometimes the Spotify and like all the DSPs, yeah. they'll be selling their merch on my channel. Like, mm -hmm. you know. But I'm just like, you can't be but worried that's about. Just through, because they're confused or. Yeah, like, I don't. I don't. Like it's not. It's not even worth trying to figure out what yeah. it is. But you know, the people that know how to find me, they know how to find you know black yeah, people yeah. in Tokyo when they want to listen to it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, that's how it kind of came to be. So I just dropped the. Um, so when I got to TikTok, the geek, dropped I dropped the part. geek because I'm like, yo, I just, I'm sorry, but I just became flyer and flyer. Yeah, like, so I'm like, I'm not a geek anymore. Like, yeah, I'm actually yeah. kind of fly. So mm -hmm. I was like, I'm just going to, if I'm just Keats now, what's my handle going to be? Because I couldn't just at Keats. It was not happening. Yeah. Um, so I was like, yo, every time I, I do, people ask me like, yo, who made the beat? It was like, me. Who edited um, the video? And it's kind of came from like, I kind of got frustrated just because like, yeah. You don't know I do all this stuff by myself. If you not even know, you don't like yeah. it's a different level of appreciation you have. Like I don't have the money to mix this. I mixed it because yeah, I yeah, couldn't yeah. pay for it. Bro. Like, I, so I've crazy, been missing though, meals man. for the mix and master. Yeah. So I just said Keats did it. It answers all the questions and it yeah. leaves it so open ended. And also it's kind of like an Easter egg because I did yeah. three years of IT. Mm -hmm. I worked oh, private okay. IT, so Keats did IT, mm -hmm. and then uh, I popped off the planet. That's crazy. So you just like it's like like a a bio in your mm -hmm. title. <laughs> it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like it's like his biography of like mm -hmm. they they just know, okay, you do IT, you did everything else that they're watching. He's did it. Yeah. It's, it's so open ended. So yeah, that yeah. very much fits you Which know. Just cool because that gives you the control to, to kind of create your platform as yeah, you Yeah, gives me the freedom. Right? Open end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Open yeah. land. Yeah. Man. Fire. That's that's a crazy story. Mm -hmm. But then next year we got another dope person here. Yeah, man. Mr. Jared. So tell us about Anime Sundays yeah. and like how did you the history? So uh, um, I went to school for film and television, Morehouse College, 2016. And, you know, when you kind of get out of college in the entertainment business, it, it is kind of hard to just break out and make your own projects. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of production set work and things of that nature. But I just felt like it was taking too long. So about like maybe like four or five years after school, I said, man, like I see these social media guys on here. Like people are going about their own craft. Like I seen King Vader and RDC yeah. and they're just going about their own way. Uh, making their own artwork. Yeah. So I said, well, what can I do? Like, what can I make that I think I know the most about? Which, in my opinion, is anime. I feel like yeah. I have a plethora of knowledge in the anime community. So I started a show where we talk about anime mm -hmm. on Sundays. And <laughs> the reason we talk about anime on Sundays is because a lot of the more popular shonen would drop out here in Saturday, yeah. but in America it comes out on Sunday. Oh, so okay. what we would be having, like, especially when I was in school, I would just be on Instagram, like on my other personal pages, just showcasing all the shonen that would drop oh, and all the I stuff see. that would come out on Sunday. Yeah. And people every day just, bro, what are you watching? Mm -hmm. What is that? Put me on. How, what do you know about this? So yeah. I said, you know what? I'm going to make a whole new channel mm -hmm. where I talk about anime on Sundays. And That's it's going to be like an analytical breakdown talk show. Mm -hmm. And it grew mostly because um, of TikTok as well. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm about, about 300,000 on there or so. And... It grew mostly on TikTok because I seen some folks making comedy skits and stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I think I could be funny. I think I could make some funny stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it got way more out of control. I'm, like, I'm so, a comedian. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, so it, it, it grew a lot faster. Yeah. Um, but like on the YouTube side and like especially streaming side, it's like very analytical breakdown, like even fighting, like matchups, cross versus stuff. And it got to the point where um, a lot of other YouTubers who kind of are in that same realm mm -hmm. were like always wanting to collab work. And so, you know, shout out my boy Shonen Showdown. He's also a great YouTuber. Mm -hmm. And so now we have kind of like tried to create a, uh, almost like an ESPN yeah. for anime debating, like kind of like a Stephen A yeah. and a yeah. Skip where we just talk about the characters and we wanted yeah. to be cool to where people are like, oh, they're just super dorks. They're talking about power scale and yeah, but yeah. all they talk about is like, <laughs> you know, they're super, but it's like, nah, we want it to be like lively like, yeah, and have lively. like a good conversation. A serious conversation um, about yeah. the characters and yeah. their world. And like, and, yeah, and yeah. exactly. So that is the premise of Anime Sundays. And the X in the Instagram is like a play on Hunter Hunter because okay. in America, a lot of people say Hunter X Hunter. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's Hunter Hunter, it's Hunter so Hunter, yeah. it's Anime Sundays. But people also say Anime X Sundays. They do it all the time. So, <laughs> I, so it's so funny to me. Because I just funny. twitched. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, they do it all the time. So it's like, I think it's really hilarious that um, 
<laughs> you still, there because they're still making that. Yeah, error, that they right? still can't find the, the correlation. Uh, but <laughs> it, it, that's pretty much that's the funny. whole uh, root of Anime Sundays. And now people just be seeing like, oh, Sunday, Sunday. And it's just a nickname yeah. that has come to me now. Like, yeah. people just call me Sunday. And Sunday, I just kind of, yeah. you, know, you know, I'm like, hey, that's fine, you know. That's crazy. So, so you both started your channels. Wait, so when did you start? Well, so well, it's crazy because yours is like have, so crazy. I have a whole different type of journey because yeah, it, yeah. my creation stemmed from like a need to survive. I got a yeah. one point. So I graduated high school 2012, okay. drove down to Florida, yeah. and I kind of goofed off the first year. I didn't understand what a cumulative GPA was. I didn't know oh, if okay. like you do your first, if you sell out like yeah. your first. You, I'm like, I'll just make it up next semester, but it stacks on and holds you yeah, down. Yeah. So I got like a 1.17. And my dad yeah, is very friendly. Right, it's the average of oh, yeah. all of your years, <laughs> right? So, so you can't just do great. I mean, unless you get like just four, you just have to be like, buggled down as soon as you get in. Yeah, you know, just as soon as you get in. So I kind of you know lived my you know I wild out you know did what I did very safely, but uh, you know it comes five. around to one point one seven. Oh, well. but I was taking twenty one credits in mechanical laugh. engineering. It's not and right to laugh at people. Get degrees. You know, whatever. <laughs> but it's, it said, I like that. <laughs> these happen. <laughs> my dad was like, "Yo, straight, tighten up or come home." So I'm like, yeah. "Okay, bet for sure." Mm -hmm. You know, because I was going back to my dad. He's from the Bronx. He's like, "You know, yeah. I'm gonna play that." So uh, I did, and then it was still difficult because I started to understand the mechanical engineering curriculum and what the math becomes. And I'm like, "Yo, this is not me. I'm gonna have to." It's kind of like in Hunter Hunter. Like my my nen attribute like yeah, was yeah. way off. Like I was not naturally in that state. That was yeah, not my yeah, yeah. you know my actual full passion. So I was like, what do I want to do? I'm like, I always been funny. I was the prom king, drum major, first yeah. trumpet, volunteer firefighter, eagle scout. Like let me let me be outside, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what do I want to do? Yo, social media is popping, and I'm watching RDC, Caleb City. So it was around like 2014, 15. Okay. I'm dropping Instagram videos. Yeah. You know, had kids, but then when it really hit, like blew up was right around, I started making stuff go viral on Twitter around yeah. like 2019. I moved from you know, Florida to Atlanta. But I feel like it's so, I feel like that's really important though, like mm -hmm. for, for folk to hear that though. Because yeah. I, I feel like, like our, at least for us here, like we always, like we, we always feel like the journey is super important. Mm -hmm. right? That the process, we always say respect the process. And like you say, you started in 2014, now, now we're 10 years later, right? And then, so it's definitely took that work and that yeah. the dedication to your craft and to creating like your your online persona right and yeah. and and the same for you like like how, when when did you start and so like, like just like he said like i feel like social media you know it's always been around but i don't think people were really focused on creating like content to entertain people and yeah. try to make it a business until like the 2016 era oh, okay. and i yeah. was still just getting out of college so i'm trying to do the right thing like get a job and you know i did work um at a, a news station you know wsb channel 2 in atlanta i was on working at the radio department and yeah. behind the scenes camera work, you know, engineer stuff and i was just like this is taking too long yeah, for yeah. me to get my the stuff i want to create mm. out so i said Forget it, man. That's I'm what's wrong with your gen this generation. Yeah. No pace. No. Yeah. I, listen, I said this is <laughs> taking too long. So <laughs> around 2019, I started Anime Sundays, and uh, we just happened to get on right before COVID, which I think in general changed the game mm. for the anime audience, period. Like yeah, COVID changed a lot. Literally, yeah. anime was probably one of the most watched things during yeah, COVID just, because just all you could do... Yeah. They sit home and watch anime. So the whole community expanded. Anybody who made content about it, That's crazy. Okay. anybody who made jokes about it, like they. It was putting you yeah. on yeah. and growing and yeah, excelling at the, the culture yeah, itself yeah, yeah, yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Like the skits I was making was going insane. Like exactly. I'm, I'm sitting, I would be able to just refresh the page and it's another 200K yeah. on my video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, the anime rap that I did, mm -hmm. I had to repost it three times because yeah. the audio kept getting flagged. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like yeah. by, yeah, yeah, and everything. I so say, I, um, I used to like just post different like hypothetical verses and like, yeah. oh, what art did you like better in One Piece and Naruto? And I had like, I only had like a couple hundred followers at the time and those posts would blow up. Like I it, think what you, you said what right now with that mm -hmm. is so crazy. That you were, you were, of course, mm -hmm. you were building your own channel. But at the same time, you were building that culture mm -hmm. at, at the same time. Yeah, like, that's, it's you know, like I had Crunchyroll trending. 
Because I did the origins. Well, I did when you know Netflix talks to Hulu, talks to, but people didn't under. Yeah. I knew there's a whole bunch. They didn't know what Crunchyroll is, yeah, so I had yeah. to like y'all putting gotta put some respect so, you know, you on Crunchyroll yeah, yeah, doing yeah. numbers, Hulu yeah. numbers, HBO Max numbers, like yeah. and, you know, and, and he's old, yeah. So like, yeah, it's yeah. a different type of energy, and like people yeah. really like recept received it, you know. Yeah. Like, they, you know uh, speaking Japanese, like yeah. on Crunchyroll, like pretending like <laughs> it was crazy, like yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yesterday you were speaking in Japanese too. You were, yeah, you know, and I just have a I. I use Google Translate, and there's some people that I've met on TikTok, like yeah. Faith, Kimiko. Yeah. Um, so I'd hit them, be like, "Yo, how do you would, would you actually pronounce this? Is Google yeah, Translate yeah. lying to me? Because mm -hmm. I I really do. It, for a long time, it was Keats don't miss yeah. because I, I I'm very methodical. I may not drop every week, but when I drop, you know that it's you know I took my time with yeah. it. I did my research, and I gave you the best acting performance, Maybe. production performance yeah. that I could by myself to my limits. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to maintain that. You know, once you have that, you can't drop yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can't fumble. You can't so. Come Wait. Yeah, with yeah. the Kiss Anime, I had the pirated websites, you know, the YouTube MP3, Kiss yeah. Anime, one, two, three movies, uh, which we do not um, support pirating. We don't. We don't. It's terrible. You know, we have yeah. all our licenses and everything. You know, yeah, but they, it's a, it's a, you know, a perspective of things that are in the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was very relatable. It made yeah. me the success I am today. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it was just a great time. Yeah, yeah. No, I, amazing, impactful. So what? So you know what's? So this is another question that I kind of want to always ask. Because I feel like the, as you were talking about like building the culture of anime, or and then and then making it more popular in our culture, right? With with both of you guys' mm -hmm. content, right? Um, and and all the other influencers who are very much so, like mm -hmm. yourselves, mm -hmm. like the one thing that I felt was, or that I really experienced is just that there is a whole other approach and appreciation for anime in the Black culture in America, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. than how it is here and in yeah. other places, like. Mm -hmm. What did you? Well, I, you I would say I say it's it's definitely always been there. Um, you know, I also re you know you relate a lot of things in, in terms of like black culture to like more like the I guess flyer culture, the hip hop culture, like the trending culture, right? Yeah. And because we aren't always seen in that space, mm -hmm. when we did start like showing, well, black people do kind of like. One Piece and Naruto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now people are like, "Well, do y'all? Well, okay, we'll bet. Well, maybe yeah, we should go in and uh, try see to what see, see what's there. going on." Because now you have brands like Hypeland and brands yeah, yeah. like you know all these different brands dropping the craziest collabs, collabs yeah, yeah. having really the craziest cool events, and like this is how events like Trap Sushi can even come to be yeah. because we've always been here, we've always loved this stuff, mm -hmm. but we have never really been. It's never been popular for us to express it, yeah. and so now that anime did become a little bit more. It's, it's cool okay. to like, you know, you got yeah. Megan Thee Stallion hosting the Anime Awards yeah, and Michael yeah. B. Jordan's doing Naruto and Coach collabs. Yeah. So now it's like, well, okay, black people felt like they could pop out and yeah. actually have a blast. We and can, once we, can, we pop out, we can step out the closet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once we pop out, <laughs> everybody pops out. Now you got yeah. these black cosplayers who are, you know, these gorgeous women and, you know, men too. Yeah. Like everybody's popping out and everybody's just. Really expressing like you know, and these con the convention culture, yeah, 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 was yeah. the most fun. Like I said, the more popular, famous, or whatever you want to call it, I get in the more exclusive rooms I'm invited to. I notice that I have more fun at the low key stuff. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, here like where we can go to different. I've always been the lunch table hopper, like to go yeah. around different cuts. You know, hang mm -hmm. with the Spanish people, mm -hmm. with the black people, like all that. So it's just trap sushi creates those pockets for you. Yeah. Um, and it's just amazing because. <laughs> The the money and the entertainment goes where the women go, and some of the most beautiful women love dressing up and cosplay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just mm -hmm. a, a blessing. Yes. So it's uh, it's amazing. Well, we do not objectify women here at the. Uh, no, not at all. You know, not at all. We, we just respect appreciate the artwork. Absolutely. We respect That's women. Beauty. We respect Universal everyone. Beauty. But cosplayers, they they do such a great job mm -hmm. at creating their costumes. Absolutely. And it's yeah. and it's great healthy competition too. Because yeah. I'm a cosplayer myself and I, I don't yeah. miss. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's amazing <laughs> DIY and that's the perfect why it works so much with independent content creators because everything we do is DIY. Yeah, DIY. Yeah, too. Yeah. You know how else are you gonna start? <laughs> yeah. So uh, that it, is it's true. A and, and like to bring it back to where we are, like and why we're all here, like we talk about trap sushi, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just like the like, it's interesting because, yeah, it was like, it started off, like, I think all of us, right, all of your channels mm -hmm. started as DIY, right? Trap Sushi started DIY, right? Mm -hmm. Like, something wasn't there in our space and mm -hmm. around us, and we were like, yeah. we saw the need for it, or just mm -hmm. we wanted to be able to express ourselves, and then we go out and create something, right? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. like, yeah, so they created this, this crazy event mm -hmm. to kind of 
share cultures, right? Share, mm -hmm. Japan, Japan, share Japan and to share mm -hmm. Atlanta. Uh, the Atlanta trap culture. Yeah. Then you guys are, you're sharing, so how, how, where, I don't know, how do you see the, the cultures being shared and blended in what you? Uh, well, yeah. with, with trap sushi specifically, I know like, um, like how I met Troop, like I met, I met me and Troop went to Morehouse around the, at, around the okay. same time, but yeah. I didn't really know him as well. I might have seen him a couple times, but Steph had serious. recognized, yeah, shout out, you know, the house. Steph had recognized my me at a convention and recognized my content, and True Ben invited me to Trap Sushi, and he just wanted me to check it out. And then, you know, I just gave him some pointers, like, hey, bro, you could probably do a few things to, like, really get some more people in here. And he was like, well, yeah, well, bro, if you'd be interested in hosting, yeah. like, you know, and I actually never really hosted anything before. Trap Sushi was, like, the first thing I really had hosted. Mm -hmm. So, but I had known from Morehouse Party Culture how to do it, and so I kind of just uh, did the best I can to bring what I knew from the Morehouse party scene mm -hmm. and bring it to the Trap Sushi anime party scene because I've been a, you know, and Keith said, we've all been to dozens, maybe even hundreds of conventions by now. Yeah. And um, they were missing that flair in yeah. their entertainment party life. Mm. And so I was trying to do my best to replicate what I think would be like that HBCU flair, that yeah. real party, like mm -hmm. 90s, like what yeah. you see in the Trap Sushi when I host. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you know, shout out, really shout out to Steph and Troop. Like they really put their time and effort into so who they brought into this project. And, yeah. and by the time, like we started being able to even get into the conversation with conventions. And I was like, Troop, the moment you have a Trap Sushi after party officially for a convention mm -hmm. is going to change the game. Yeah. And that's literally like what are the next step after that was like literally after they had got i believe that fisher after party was momocon i believe Ooh. and then after that happened I, I remember that at that time that was like one of the most sold out events we had it was like 1500 people in there and after that it was like yeah you know yeah. so and the documentation of it it's, it's not even our final form like yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we talk about yeah, stuff yeah, like, like you know that. in the airbnb it's a constant it's a, it's a hive mind, really, yeah, yeah. you know, because everyone is so accepting. And I think that's the one thing. When you find there can be at times a lot of toxicity everywhere, yeah. and mm -hmm. especially in the anime community. Mm -hmm. But when you yeah. find the right ones who, you know, they watch One Piece and they yeah. pick out some of the morals, you know, mm -hmm. from like how things work, you know, and, and they really have that respect for living your life and wanting to surpass your limits yeah, and that whole yeah. thing. Um, it makes per human interaction, you know, a lot mm -hmm. easier and yeah. more organic. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. I think like because some folks always ask, like, why? Why do we think anime is so popular in black culture? Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, too. What do you guys think? Oh, I think I think anime is so popular in black culture because we relate so much to the struggles of these characters, the yeah. oppression, the the hardships, the family problems, the like everything that like you can name almost any main character in a main shonen. And I yeah. guarantee you. You know, five black folk would be like, yeah, like I can see half my life yeah, in yeah, yeah. Gone Freaks or Monkey D. Luffy or even Naruto Uzumaki. Like they see, or even Aaron Yeager, sure. you know uh, what I mean? Monkey like, D, right? He didn't even got a dad. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, that, yeah, that's like the main, hey, that's like, like the main trope. I mean, I mean, unfortunately, Goku it's a stereotype. Was dead for most of Gohan's yeah, life. You know, it is, it is, there is a stereotype there, but it's like, but even like, just even like Luffy's personality, like me personally, One Piece changed my life, like yeah. without a question. Like I would not be who I am as a person if I didn't watch One Piece, especially at the age I watched it. And you know, and, and some people may not be this deep. I've been watching One Piece episode by episode mm -hmm. since I was like 14. So right. when it was when it was still under the 500s, yeah, yeah. you feel me? So this is like most of my life is, is a part crazy. of this show. Yeah. And so like Luffy's journey mm -hmm. has helped me cultivate like most of like how I feel as a as a just a man like yeah. being confident not you know uh worrying about uh, the major obstacle in front of me making sure that my friends and my family above all else are taken care of take some notes gotta put this in our anime. <laughs> I'm just I'm just like like one piece and like and then it's not even just one piece too Naruto like yeah. the way that Sasuke like how he feels he should go about um, getting revenge and how he, it's like, it's like, dang, like, would I be any different? You know what I'm saying? Like all these things really like cultivate, especially when you're younger and a teenager, like how you are going to live the rest yeah, of your life. And like so, as a teen, yeah, like, so and I feel like, you know, you're dealing with so many problems mm -hmm. and are just, you're just dealing with life. Mm -hmm. And then, so the anime kind of helped, or these yeah. characters helped you to be able to. And, yeah. and you know, another aspect, and I'm, I'm probably going to lose my train of thought on this because I kind of like went into a spider web in here, mm -hmm. but 
in the Japanese culture, what you see, when you go back to America, you're kind of like, wow, like, why are we doing things like this? People yeah. are so, I was a 7 and 11, and mm -hmm. the woman heated up the thing for me, and like, she opened up the bag, and put, you could see she put everything in the bag so that it fit, like, perfectly. Yeah, yeah. She took her actual time and effort. In America, we don't sure know. It didn't inconvenience you while you're exactly. carrying this. Exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? You know, the people will move, yeah. they'll... The, the way that the uh, transportation, like the Ubers, they have white gloves, yeah. button down shoot to shirt, they'll come out and help you. It's, it, it's really just nice. And those same culture of people are creating these works of art that stem from very real things like biblical texts. And mm -hmm. that's why there's such a, and today in like our TikTok society, it's it's microwave, easy, throwaway um, memes. Okay. Hundreds of thousands of people doing the same trend we done seen over with my twin. Nothing against yeah. it, but we've seen it all before. Like, mm -hmm. we have not seen One Piece. Yeah, we have yeah. not seen an art that can't be replicated. It's yeah. just, you know, and when, like you said, you grow up with your life, they literally, you are what you eat and what you watch. Mm -hmm. And to your first question, we were in front of the, the box, yeah. you know, when our parents were working, when we, you know, any low income or struggle, yeah. mid class, what most of black people are, yeah. we was inside side of the box and we was watching three channels. It was Disney, Cartoon Network, yeah. and Tsunami. Mm -hmm. I mean, Adult and Swim. Nickelodeon. After you know, once that Adult Swim and Tsunami yeah. came on, yeah. and you hear yeah. that, you know, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. wait, hold on, <laughs> yeah. Dad was listening to John Coltrane. That kind of yeah. sound like that, mm -hmm. but then I'm seeing these fighting like the Dragon Ball yeah, Z yeah, yeah, and your mind yeah, yeah. can't, it's like, what is right this now, new right, thing? Like, and then you start about. finding like new job is, and then you get hooked. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it's like, wait, hold on. What you mean? I'm caught up what? on the episodes though. And we, and we didn't even know it was anime. Not yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, what, wait, what, yeah. what yeah, you mean right? it's not out? Oh yeah. And then you find out, oh yeah, it's a Japanese. It comes out in Japan. Yeah, wait, so yeah. if you go on this, you know, you can look up some Yo, stuff. You yeah, know? you can look you up some find it, And then that's how we'll get us in the sub because we yeah. couldn't wait. A lot of people, yeah. they went to sub because they couldn't yeah. wait yeah, to yeah, watch yeah. it. You know, when Jiraiya goes, when Naruto goes over Jiraiya and it's like, wait, yeah. huh? Yeah. What happens when he gets yeah, older, get... it's like, yo. I remember the day I had to switch over to sub vividly because <laughs> it, was, it was somebody had told me that Sas Sasuke fought Itachi and I said, Unacceptable. <laughs> I said, I said they said that's, you said that's only in Japanese? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, we'll find it. Like, we'll find it. In the hallway? No, nah, I, I was at my little brother. No, no, no. I mean, the episode when he's in the hallway and then the toe come out, like when he first. No, no, no. No, like, like in, um, I believe in Shippuden. Shippuden? Oh, yeah, okay. like Shippuden, when Naruto yeah. fought, Itachi, I mean, Masaki fought Itachi in Shippuden, I said, no way. I said, there's no way that's out already. I said, I had I had to catch up immediately on the subs. Oh, I had yeah, to, yeah, yeah. I, like, I was watching Naruto, like, just. And uh, when I could, I was like, no, I'm catching up right now. It's a very serious question. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know, depending on how you answer this, it could change your life. <laughs> Sub or dub? Sub. There's <laughs> nothing <laughs> wrong <laughs> with dub. I l enjoy sub because I believe the original actors of the show are yeah. going to portray the characters the best. They're going to yeah, do yeah. the best acting. But I don't think there's anything wrong with dub because mm -hmm. some people just enjoy their language yeah, 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 <laughs> when yeah. watching their works of art. Yeah. But... There are some shows that if you watch both, because I when I was watching One Piece growing up, I watched most of it in dub, yeah. like mm -hmm. when it was first coming out, and then you had no choice, like he said, to catch up in sub, mm -hmm. and I did appreciate it over time mm -hmm. in sub, but it took me a while. It wasn't easy. It wasn't like, oh, I was like, Luffy's voice actor, I was like, sounds a little different here, like, and they're actually both women, so it's yeah. like, okay, you sound different here, but then when you get to the more serious moments again, you're like, okay. I can see why this woman is one of the most revered voice actors in, yeah, in, in yeah, the world. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so I get it. So I, I get it. So that's why I was like, okay, I appreciate the sub more, of course, but I don't think there's anything wrong with dub. I just think that if you really want to enjoy it to the fullest, you're going to watch the original. Act. It's like, you know how some chefs, like, you ask for a change. Oh, can I get the... No, you can't. This is, this this is, is the this, meal. This is the meal. So it's like yeah, having yeah, a Wagyu yeah. burger and a fast food burger. Like, it depends on what you're doing. If I'm mm. doing my laundry and stuff, I might throw on something. I don't merely like it, but I'll throw on the dub just so I can watch yeah. it while I'm doing laundry or whatever. But Definitely if you can, it, like, I always, there. as an artist and a creative, I want to receive the content in the way it was originally formed. Like, yeah, why yeah. would I go to mm. a, a Side different note. version? Mm. If ever I go to a restaurant and the and the chef tells me I cannot have the food the way that I want to eat it, you best believe I would not be in that restaurant. I hear you. <laughs> so now, and thank you guys of so course, much course, for yeah. for this conversation. It was a very lively conversation. As we yeah, always end our things like Staji ga daiji. It's a weird way to end, but yeah. we're ending. Hey, and, but I super, super appreciate you both, guys. No, man, I'm going to appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank yeah, you. My job is just I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you very much. Everyone, thank you. Till the next one.